Hello everybody, this is Seether Cord, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Land on the original Nintendo Game Boy. Not the Game Boy Color, not the Game Boy Advance, not the DS, not the Nintendo 3DS, but the original Nintendo Game Boy. Yes, this is one of my personal favorite, um, I have to get out of the screen. This is one of my personal favorite Game Boy games, original Game Boy games for that matter. Um, I think it's extremely fun. It is one of the best-selling Game Boy games of all time as well, and it's just overall a great time. So we're just going to get started with it now. So let's begin. Super Mario Land. You just got a little look at the demo for a second there. But anyway, yes, if you didn't know, uh, use the D-pad to move around. Like, obviously, um, you press A to jump, and then you go and like hold down B if you want to do like a little boost in a way. And also use B to shoot fireballs when we get the Fire Flower ability. And yeah, and instead of being in the Mushroom Kingdom, we're now in Sarasa Land. Instead of having to save Princess Peach, we gotta save Princess Daisy. Yeah, I personally like Princess Daisy a lot more than Princess Peach. Like when it comes to the Mario Kart games, the Mario Party games, the Mario Sports games, I always choose Peach. I always choose Daisy over Peach personally because I think she's cooler. I think she's cuter, and I have a thing for tomboys. So don't judge me. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, pretty much, um, I'm gonna be playing this on an emulator. I do own an original copy on the Game Boy, um, and I've played through it on my original copy on the Game Boy, but the thing is, there's no saving. The battery's dead on it, but I don't really mind it, because I can play the game in one playthrough, so I don't really care about the battery. And also because I'm recording on an emulator, because I, um, I feel like it'll be the best possible picture quality for you guys to watch. So, yeah. I wish the button wasn't as loud, but it's okay. Um, yeah, we now have the invisibility ability, so we're invincible right now with that little star and a little music. It was pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Anyway, um, before we go on to uh, this part, if you get are able to jump to the exit of the level on the top portion rather than the bottom portion, you get put into a random chance time like uh, section of the game, a little mini game to help you win either one to three lives or a fire flower ability. So let's see if I can get it right. Uh, there we go, and I only got one, but that's alright. We still got something nice. I prefer anything but the Fire Flower ability, personally. Um, yes, this game isn't as long or as difficult as Super Mario Bros. the original, but it still has some form of challenge to it. Like, yeah, if you get a game over, you have to start all the way over unless you get 100,000 total points, which means that you get one continue for every 100,000 points you collect, and I'm at 13,000 right now. Um, and but even though if you do get a game where you have to start all the way over and you don't feel like you waste that much time so you're kind of more continuing to play since there's only 12 levels in this game we're already at level 2 and we're only like 3 minutes in so yeah um, so pretty much right um, there's 4 worlds in this game each have 3 levels the, the end of each world has a boss and you have to do all of it in one go without getting a game over and you can like um, grind for lives as you go through this game and it's pretty easy to get lives especially if you're able to uh, get lucky or time it well when collecting um, the lives at the end of at the little mini game at the end of each level. So yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna make this in three separate parts because the first two worlds are very quick, but however, worlds three and four, they take a little bit of time, in my opinion, unless you don't wanna like risk like dying a lot, because unless you take your time in the last few levels of this game, you will end up dying a lot and losing a lot of lives. So yeah. Um, so that's why one-ups become really important later on. Uh, jump up here, fuck that up. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> anyway. And there we go, we did it! Woohoo! Yeah! World 1-2 completed. Sweet, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can time this right now. Uh, yeah! Boy, I got three lives! Woohoo! So that gives us a total of seven total lives because zero is still counted as a life in this game for some reason. Um, Alright. Uh, now we're in the boss area, and we got like this cool, like, Arabic music, as Cramchy likes to put it, which is racist! It's racist, Cramchy! No, I'm kidding, it's not. Anyway, uh, go over here. You want to watch out for these piranha plants, and those um, platforms that stick out will fall and try to crush you, so you got to be aware of those as well. I almost didn't notice them for a second, but uh, yeah. There are some secret pipes that can lead you to extra coins, but I don't really like to focus on them that much, because I already get a lot of lives at the um, the end of the bonus sections of each level. So yeah, unless you want to like look from try to search for them yourself, I won't really be showing that off in this playthrough. Anyway, I'm gonna go over here. But yeah, this is one of my favorite Game Boy games. It's very it's very handy while on the go. It's a good little challenge. It's not too difficult to where it's like unfairly uh, difficult. I might show off one of these little secrets if I can get to it. I think it's somewhere over here. It's not. You have to be Mini Mario to get in down here, but I'm not Mini Mario, sadly. But it's alright. Uh, here we 
go, we just kill him. <laughs> oh, I missed that. I could have gotten an extra question mark block. Oh god, I almost got hit there. I did not notice those. You gotta pay attention. Like you, you, you have like the urge in this game to want to speed run it, but if you do, like you're not gonna be aware of um all the things that could trick you in later levels. So you gotta like be careful. Nice. Ooh, boing. <laughs> it's like a little spring, like boing. And I just got screwed there. Uh. And there's the boss, which just beat it in like three seconds. I almost actually died right there. There we go. Cool. Cool, man. Anyway. <laughs> All right, and with that, we have now beaten the first world in this game. Pretty cool. Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. It turns out Daisy's just a weird fly creature. <laughs> it's funny. And we got ourselves another bonus area. Let's see if I can get it this time. Come on, let's go for three. Or I could just take take it easy and one for two. Okay. There we go, just one, I don't mind. Okay. Nice. Now we got a lured spaceship thing that gets us down here, but okay then. But yeah, we're now in world two of four, so we're going to be careful around here. Oh, okay, I almost screwed up there. Uh, screen's glitching out on top, it's the emulator. If you guys are cur- <laughs> Okay then. If you guys are curious as to what emulator I'm using, I'm using OpenMU on Mac, which is really good when it comes to running a lot of, um, a lot of, pretty much every, um, major party, uh, console from Microsoft, not Microsoft, uh, Sony and PlayStation. It does PlayStation 1 and pretty much all handheld, except for, uh, except for 3DS and all Nintendo consoles except for, um, except for the, uh, the Wii and the GameCube, because GameCube's pretty much on Dolphin at this point. Oh, god, okay. Um, and also, it has some other, like, kind of not as majorly popular uh, handhelds and other systems, like the, uh, the Wondershare, I think it's called, or the Wonderswan, and the, uh, Turbo Graphics and the Sega, and all the Sega consoles as well, like, the Sega Jaguar, Sega CD, things like that, it's pretty cool. Sega, Sega 32X, I think, as well. Oh, gotta be careful! Oh, I'm not paying attention yet, I was avoiding it, thankfully. Uh, oh, that's a heart, I want that. Nice, I got it. Woohoo! This game is gonna get really difficult. I know it looks easy right now, but it's gonna get brutal a little later on. Oh, yeah, baby! Got the extra. I'm gonna get some more one ups if I make sure not to screw it up. Okay, cool. Gotta wait for that to go. Uh, mm, there we go, I got two. I'll take that. Better than one, but not as good as three, but still not the worst. Cool. I got 11, 12 total lives. That's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, get a little fire flower. When you already have the fire flower, but you can collect a fire flower or a mushroom, you um, you get some extra points, which are good to help you get to the 100,000 to help you get a continue if you end up getting a game over. Uh, ooh. Nice. There we go. Can I go down here? No, I cannot. Uh, ooh. You gotta watch out for that robot thing, because when you kill its head, the rest of its body's still alive. Eh. There we go. Oh, watch out. There we go. <laughs> Be very careful here. Okay. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm like a monkey. Like, <laughs> oh, my God, I sound like Alex. Did I just call my friend Alex a monkey? Okay. Uh, uh, eh. Okay. Uh, oh. oh shit, I get that for calling my, I deserve that for calling my friend a monkey, but anyway. <laughs> stupid monkey. <laughs> He's not stupid, but anyway. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna get anything out of here. I'm not. Just gotta be careful. Ah, there we go. Nothing in there. Shit. Woo! Uh, can get something here? Nope. But I will be able to get to the uh, one-up section over here. Gotta make sure I get it right. Oh, I still get a chance. Still got a chance. Uh, there we go. Do not screw it up, Mario. Yes, I got it. Woohoo! Sweet. Pretty cool. 
I'm already at halfway point for the, the continue. All right, let's get it, and... There we go, and shit, I'm gonna have to get the Fire Flower, but that's okay, it just, I was already mini anyway, so that's good. All right, this is the first of two uh, flying, or the one, the only underwater section, we're gonna have a in the sky section where, but this is the first of two sections in the game we're going to have a ship, where we have to guide it for the whole level. And the last one will be on the final level, and this is the halfway point of the game, pretty much. Since we are now underwater, I can live underwater. I'm quoting a Mike, Micah song. Anyway, so pretty much we just gotta, um, you press B to pretty much shoot your um, torpedoes at the enemies. It's honestly more of a, a more of a smarter move is just to kind of like avoid them rather than try to shoot them because they only shoot like vertically. No, they only shoot like direct shots and you can't like, they can't like uh, aim with them or anything. So it's kind of smarter to just like avoid them, I guess. But if you want to go for more points like I am, then do that. Ooh -hoo! Oh, I just, okay, I almost got screwed over by I miraculously survived that and got some benefits out of it. These octopus enemies will like leave to uh, kind of like attack things at us, so you gotta avoid those as well. Eh, okay. Okay, there we go. Just don't think that you have to kill every enemy, you just gotta make it to the end because this is a side scroller portion of the game. Oh boy, okay. There we go. Mario! Oh my gosh! Ah. There we go. Sweet. Nice. Got to kill another oct or another. Now that's a seahorse. Anyway, we got a thousand points, and this is the boss, the giant seahorse we got to take on. That makes this really weird noise when you hit it. I don't know why. It makes me think of the seahorse kid from Finding Nemo. Okay. Ooh, I almost got hurt there. Got to kill these blocks right over here, and boom, we just are now halfway done with the whole game. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Huh. Okay. Alright. We beat it now. Oh, what the heck did I do? Oh man, I wasn't clicking on the freaking emulator. What the hell? I suck. Anyway. Thank you, Mario! <laughs> oh my god, I just burped. Oh, Daisy! And now she's a giant squid. Splatoon confirmed. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so now if we do this, can we make it this time? And... Oh yes! We got three lives! Awesome! 